Hello friends, I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to show you how to create a whimsical cottagecore garden tea party. So I actually first created a tea party with this theme two years ago for my sister's birthday and it's become a bit of a tradition for us to do this every year since. So this year I wanted to show you how I create the whole thing from the food to setting up and styling the table. So without further ado, let's get started with making some tea sandwiches. For me, cream cheese and cucumber sandwiches are an essential part of any tea party, so let's start there. So we'll need eight ounces of cream cheese or vegan cream cheese. I really love the Kite Hill brand um, cream cheese if you want a vegan option. Then I'll add a squeeze of lemon, three to four tablespoons of minced dill, roughly three to four tablespoons. It's okay if it's a little bit more. I like mine very dilly, but feel free to adjust this to whatever you prefer. And two tablespoons of minced chives. About a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and then I'm going to mix everything together and season it with salt and pepper to taste. Perfect. Now I'm going to thinly slice some cucumber. I like to keep the slices very thin. I'm going to be using sourdough and some regular white bread, so I'll have two different options, but I've made this before with pumpernickel and it was great, so definitely feel free to use whatever you like. I like to spread the cream cheese on each side of the bread in kind of a thin layer and then add one layer of the cucumbers. Next, we'll make some colorful pink beet hummus for our hummus and veggie tea sandwiches. We're going to start by adding one peeled roasted beet to a food processor or blender. You can also use canned beets here and one can of chickpeas drained and rinsed. Then we'll add a third of a cup of tahini, the juice from one to two lemons, and two cloves of garlic, one half teaspoon of kosher salt, and a little bit of pepper. We'll start blending the ingredients and slowly drizzle in one quarter of a cup of olive oil. If the hummus is still a little thicker than you'd prefer here, you can add two tablespoons of cold water. Taste the hummus and season it with extra salt, pepper, or lemon juice if needed. And now we're all ready to make our hummus and veggie tea sandwiches. These are such a delicious spring sandwich and they're also a great vegan option for tea party sandwiches. So I've prepped all of my ingredients. I have some minced chives, shredded carrots, thinly sliced cucumbers, mixed microgreens, hummus, bread and a watermelon radish. I wanted to wait to cut the watermelon radish in front of you because I know a lot of people haven't heard of watermelon radishes and they're one of my favorite vegetables to work with and I'll show you why. So as you can see, they're this bright hot pink on the inside with this beautiful green edge and they look a lot like a watermelon. So for the sandwiches, we'll want to really thinly slice the watermelon radish. I'm actually going to use this mandolin slicer, but you can do this with a regular knife. Just be really careful because they're kind of hard to cut, so just watch your fingers. So I've sliced my watermelon radish, time to make the sandwich. So we'll do a nice thick layer of beet hummus. Then I'll put a layer of cucumbers, some shredded carrots, Ooh, looks so pretty, some chives, and 
and my watermelon radish. My beautiful microgreens. And another layer of hummus. And since we're making tea sandwiches, I'm going to cut the crust off and cut this into four pieces. These radish crostini are so simple, but they're incredibly delicious. In fact, both my boyfriend and my sister said they were their favorite of all of the savory tea party foods. To make them, we'll thinly slice one bunch of radishes. I'm using a mandolin slicer for mine, and then cut them in half. For the bread, you can either use a thinly sliced baguette or any bread of your choice cut into bite-sized pieces. I ended up using both. Here I'm using a 2 inch cookie cutter to cut some sliced sourdough. And then we'll spread some room temperature butter or vegan butter onto the top of each piece, sprinkle with some flaky salt and chives, and then we'll roll up the sliced radish halves really tightly to create little roses and place them on top. I think these are so pretty, especially for a spring-themed tea party, and they are so delicious too. I decided to make a lemon and raspberry cake for the tea party and I thought it would look so pretty to assemble this cake outside. However, I quickly realized that was a very difficult thing to do. It was very windy when I filmed, so the entire time I was fighting the wind and trying to shield the cake from the sun, so I definitely would not recommend assembling your cake outside. Anyway, to save time, I used a white cake box mix, and I used this trick I learned online a few years ago that has never failed me. I swapped out the oil for equal parts melted butter and the water for equal parts milk. I use this trick all the time, and the cakes always come out perfectly, and they taste like I bought them from a bakery. And to my batter, I mixed in the zest from one lemon and a teaspoon of lemon extract to make this a lemon cake. I baked the cake in six inch layer cake pans and I made a wonderful fluffy whipped cream frosting. I'll link the recipe below. And I'm just layering the cake with frosting and fresh raspberries on each layer and garnishing the top with raspberries and chamomile flowers. I went to a local French bakery near me, as well as Trader Joe's, and I got these beautiful petit fours, vanilla scones, pastries, and macarons.
Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you end up trying any of the recipes or making a tea party of your own, please tag me or message me. I would love to see what you create. Thank you again, friends, and I'll see you next time.